Okay, folks, howdy. Well, back again with you. Got a, a, a couple of quick videos of some crappy here. I'll explain that. Uh, but first, let me, I'm going to get back. I ain't done some pictures or some pics last couple times. Um, so I, I got to get some pictures out there. Uh, first, I got Devon225. He, he caught some crappy this spring, and then they're just some great big ones. You got to check them out, you know. Uh, Devon, thanks for so much for sending them in. And, uh, keep sending it. You know, all y'all send, send me them pics. I want to show y'all stuff off. I really want to show y'all stuff off. So keep, keep sending that, keep sending your pictures. Uh, and I'm just down here every time stuff. I got a little bass tournament tomorrow and I'll try to put that out there. Uh, we're fishing a little tournament now on high rock, little bass tournament. So, uh, it's a BFL, uh, FLW puts on. So wish me luck there. Anyway, so uh, well, let me show you Devon's pictures, all right? So check those out, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, Devon, thank you for sending that, man. Great picks, great pick, great fish. I know that I sure know they eat good, because <laughs> I love some fresh, good, some good freshwater crappy too. Um, next, we got Mr. Daniel. Does a lot of land fishing, you know, fishes from land. Also has his own YouTube, and I, sorry, Daniel, I can't remember your uh, your uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so make a comment below, and y'all check out his YouTube channel too. Shell cracker, he got some shell cracker and some nice crappy. I mean, some big old shell crackers. So check those stuff out. Let me know what you think with him. Um, and then this last one, a good buddy of mine. Uh, hey, look at there. Who's that? That's all from Michelle there. I'm going to work. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mike Brandon got a picture of his grandson. He took him out and he got on some stripers. Uh, but well, let's let's see Mr. Daniel's fish first. Okay, so y'all check them out. Okay, again, thank you, Mr. Daniel, and I'm so sorry I forgot your YouTube channel, man. So just please comment below and, and let me know what that your channel was again, okay? Also, uh, this next one, you know, it's a good friend of mine. We, we talk a whole lot. Matter of fact, his one of his granddaughters also plays volleyball with Skylar and them or against them or whatever. They're in the same little travel team stuff. So uh, Mr. Mike Brandy took one of his grandsons out, and they got on some stripers with some flutter spoons. Uh, down in South Carolina, I think it was on Hartwell. I think, don't don't take me for Mike. You might want to comment below, but I think it was on Hartwell. Uh, but hey, this boy, he done made a fisherman out of this boy. This boy's ready to go back. He's done with the crabber fishing. He's ready to do some serious striper fishing now. So, Mike, you done created a striper monster there. <laughs> but that's cool. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Um, all right, so let's get to the video. I got some crapper here, uh, and let me tell you about that real quick. Uh, so I got some guys actually watching YouTube, Sam Q and uh, Mr. Julius. They come down, actually come up from South Carolina too, and uh, I put them around the bridges, and we caught some crap around the bridges. But this particular day, it looks like the water had dropped some, and the water was kind of back flowing into the creeks again. And I noticed that when I got up to the, the bridge there, I could see the little current where it was pushing around the uh, pellas and the pylons there. So what I was doing, and you'll see me, I was throwing a jig right up against the other side of that, that pylon, and, and uh, that's where them fish were staging. As soon as the bait fish would sweep around that pylon, them crappy were coming out and getting it. And I was just flipping that jig right up in there, sinking about four or five feet, and them crappy were coming out and getting on it. And you'll see me do that. But anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think. All right, welcome to PR fishing we I got one on so uh, little bass here well it's gonna be a good episode today I got some folks coming in one of y'all coming in Sam Q see if I can put him on some of them crappy oh he just come off well I hate that <coughs> I really wanted to show y'all that fish. Played with him too long.
All right. Come back down to bridges again. Catch some good crappy. Mr. Sam Q. And Mr. Julius is here. They've come up. Glad it didn't come up. They're catching a few too. So we're gonna trust we can stay on. baby Okay, PR here again, uh, just riding around me and some come to join me. Say, wait, well, Summer, hey. Uh, we just kind of riding around, checking things out. Uh, checked a couple off sports spots with her and uh, checked on Sam and them there over the bridge still. So we're riding around. That's the uh, mouth of Abbott's Creek. And then you got some sailboats. There's one here and there's one over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's the mouth of Abbott's there. And then behind me, that way is the dam and flat swamp. And that's where we just come from, so. We just riding around. It's a beautiful day. I think summer's even trying to get a little suntan. It's hot. <laughs> All right, come down to my cousins. Uh, we, we looked around, they were working hard. So I picked one off on old Texas red worm. You gotta kiss him, man. Uh. Put him back. Yeah, put him back. So she put him back. Watch the boat. And then while I'm sitting here taping, the nice man come up beside. What's your name, bro? Brian Cole. Brian Cole, come up on me. All right, excellent. So we'll get back to it. Okay, you know, I, I appreciate y'all up a whole lot, you know, and I uh, I got dad sitting here with me, so. Um, had a lot going on this day. Had some guys, you seen Sam Q and Mr. Julius and them come down. Um, my cousin jumped in the boat, you didn't get to see him, but my cousin jumped in the boat with me for a little while. Uh, then summer come down. We rode around, went down to the main part of the lake, and I missed around with a point or two, uh, looking for some off offshore fish or bass, and. Uh, I found a couple of brush piles. I didn't do no crappy fishing on them, but we'll get to that in the next couple episodes doing some brush pile fishing. So, anyway, got a bass tournament tomorrow. Can't wait for that. Looking forward to that. I'm fixing to take my butt to bed so I can get up early in the morning. We got an early blast off. Uh, so, but again, I can't thank all y'all enough. Keep sending me them pictures. Shoot to my email. I'll leave my email below. Thank y'all. Subscribe. Please subscribe to me. Send me them pics. Crash.